the testosterone will do so much for you improving it even just by like 10 20 50 percent it'll change your life i really wanted to increase my testosterone because i heard so many benefits of it you'd have more motivation you'd get more muscle mass less fat gain to be honest those sounded nice but the thing which i thought testosterone would do what more testosterone would give me is a bigger pee pee and unfortunately that didn't work so we're staying at a two millimeter defeater my name's alfie i help young men transform their lives through self-improvement if you're interested hit the subscribe button below i do one-to-one -one self improvement coaching and i will be able to text you you'll be able to text me we'll hop on calls i'll give you a personalized game plan if you're struggling with anything on self-improvement i will basically be your mentor i will help you if that sounds interesting to you go into the first link in the description and change your life so today i'm gonna go over the seven things which i found that destroy testosterone levels it's either that they destroy testosterone or they don't increase testosterone and if you're not really increasing your testosterone it's most likely being destroyed anyway so we're just gonna say that it's destroying it but it might just be that it's not increasing it and the first thing is not eating eggs like i can't believe that i didn't eat eggs for so long you know i'm just deep in it now eggs are actually like a godsend it has protein which good for muscle and it's got cholesterol which i know bare people have been saying that cholesterol's bad your mom's been saying cholesterol's bad your dad's been saying cholesterol's bad your nan's been saying cholesterol's bad your younger sister's been saying cholesterol's bad your teacher's been saying like everyone's been saying it but i know i'm only a 16 year old but from what like modern internet people are saying the cholesterol in eggs is actually good for you and you need cholesterol to make testosterone so eat eggs basically and what i found just by chance is that it might be coincidence i don't think it's coincidence basically one time i i was just i just happened to eat two boiled eggs before i went to bed right and so i ate those eggs and i went to bed and then at like midnight or something i woke up hard bro like like rock hard bro <laughs> like don't mean to get vulgar but I, I i couldn't go back to sleep because it was like that strong you get it not like an urge or to fap or anything literally just like the physical sensation of just being erect bro and I couldn't go back to sleep for a solid 30 minutes to an hour. And, bro, that it felt sick, you know, honestly. I, I was kind of angry that I didn't get a full night's rest. But at the same time, I was like, yo, eggs actually work. So if that isn't enough convincing evidence, I don't know what is for you. Eat eggs. I, if you can afford four eggs a day, do that. I eat around two. The second thing which I found that destroys testosterone, is having a bad diet, which is just common sense. If you have a bad diet, you're not going to be healthy. And if you have an unhealthy body, you're not going to produce healthy amounts of testosterone. What two things I would avoid are seed oils and soy. Soy is pretty easy to get rid of. Just don't eat soy products. It's not, it's not that hard to avoid. But seed oils, um, with seed oils, they're actually in a lot of foods and if mum does the cooking for you you obviously it's going to be a lot difficult it's going to be difficult to change like your whole parents perception on seed oils and whatever but one simple change that i made is just getting brick butter so like you know how there's like spreadable butter don't get that anymore all you got to do is get the brick butter it, it's basically the same it spreads the same i don't even know what the difference between spreadable and unspreadable is it's the same and the brick butter tastes nicer i eat butter on its own every now and then and it's nice don't let anyone shame you for eating butter on its own the third thing which i found is that if you keep your balls too warm basically heat will destruct sperm and whatever and in general what destroys sperm i think destroys testosterone again you can go and do your own research i've learned this from bro scientists and andrew huberman andrew huberman is not a bro scientist but like you can do your own research but this is what i found 
and it just makes sense and even if it's not exactly entirely scientifically true you might as well do it anyway just in case future science research proves it to be true it's not that hard to try and keep your balls a little bit cooler so even if we it turns out that it didn't do anything to testosterone it wasn't much of a difference in your life anyway but it would be a big difference if you did keep your balls too warm and then you know like it destroys testosterone the theory is that your balls are outside of your body to be cooler than the rest of your body which makes sense right so simply what i would do is just whenever you can just don't wear underwear it's as simple as that just don't wear underwear like when you're going to bed just wear cotton pajamas and don't wear underwear it's as simple as that the fourth thing which i found that destroys testosterone is keeping your phone in your pocket because you could imagine like the radiation going into your balls that's not healthy for you bro like radiation literally going into your balls deforming your sperm messing up your like it's just obviously it's gonna be bad there's an andrew huberman clip i'll see if i can find it but there's an andrew huberman clip which basically proves that this does destroy testosterone if i find it i'll link it if not just type in like andrew huberman phone in pocket the fifth thing which i found that destroys testosterone is fapping it just makes sense why are you fapping Fapping will not only destroy your testosterone, it'll destroy your self-image. And that's probably what destroys your testosterone as well, having a poor self-image. Because if you see yourself as a fapper, loser, of course you're going to have lower testosterone. Because I want you to imagine a guy with high testosterone. Is he looking at himself like a loser? Does he look in the mirror and think, loser? No, of course not. He thinks, winner. Absolute chad. And that probably increases testosterone. It might not be scientific, but it makes sense to me and if it makes sense to me it's valid i've talked about how to get rid of your fapping addiction so i won't go into much detail here but basically just over time reduce how much you fap so if you would if you fap every day of the month this month or next month whenever you're watching this just reduce it by four like two days four days of the month you just don't fap and carry on doing that over time and then you'll be good now the sixth thing which i found that destroys testosterone is having bad sleep testosterone is made during sleep which is why you know when i told you about when i eat eight eggs before i went to bed that's when like i got like rock solid you get it because basically the testosterone was being made during sleep and i just ate cholesterol so honestly if i was to time if i was to say when should you eat eggs honestly if you're not eating many I, i'd try just doing it before bed because that's probably when you're going to make the most testosterone because the most cholesterol in your body being you know what i'm saying right but obviously testosterone is made during sleep so if you get a lack of sleep you're not going to maximize the production of testosterone if you have a lack of sleep so basically get more sleep i made sleep videos on the channel before but basically if you want a no-brainer just dedicate an extra hour to bedtime and you will make more testosterone and obviously when you make more testosterone a lot of life gets better so just do that now the seventh thing which i found that destroys testosterone is not going outside and getting vitamin d when you take vit you can supplement vitamin d which is always a good idea i would supplement vitamin d but also just go outside just go outside it's not rocket science go outside right simply if you want a no-brainer go into your back garden sunny or not because I'll, I'll explain that in a sec sunny or not sit outside for a solid 10 to 30 minutes every single day just do that you'll make more testosterone or you'll get healthy levels of testosterone La lack of sunlight will destroy your testosterone right now most people will think oh but it's not rays of sunlight aren't outside so uh, what's the point like uk people will say this a lot it's if you can see outside without turning on a light it's sunlight outside the reason you can see is because of the sunlight so even though you even though there's like clouds that are blocking the sun rays there's still a lot of light outside if you got like a sunlight detector app on your phone you went you went from being inside to going outside you'd see like numbers to the power of like 10 to the power of five or something so there's a lot more sunlight outside than inside and you can't use windows because 
windows like i don't know what they do but you can't look at the sunlight through the windows because like a lot of i don't know what it does but basically you just don't get the sunlight so you have to go outside i don't i wish it wasn't like that but just go outside just go in your back garden for 10 minutes 30 minutes whilst you eat grapes or something if you like fruit just eat the fruit outside if you're gonna read read outside do you know what i mean once you get healthy levels of testosterone you will feel a lot better so even though this might be cringe like yeah alpha male testosterone bro testosterone is important and if you can improve your testosterone I, I, th I think a lot of life would get better. And you want to feel like a healthy, strong man. You, you'd you rather feel high T than low T. So even though it might be cringe, even though you might have to do things which people find weird, like not putting your phone in your pocket, eating eggs every day, supplementing vitamin D, making sure your balls aren't too warm, like, you know, stuff like that. I know people might find that weird, but it's just for you. This is important for you. Health will make your life better. So prioritize your health and increase your testosterone safe.